So, this is the um, package that I just received yesterday evening. Um, the delivery was pretty fast. I made the order via the uh, Cabin Zero uh, official website on Monday and it took them about 3 days to deliver this item to me here in Singapore. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty happy with the speed of delivery and um, if you order directly from their website, this uh, shipping is actually free. Um, yes, it's actually free worldwide if I'm not wrong. Right, so anyway, let me open this up and show you exactly uh, how the backpack looks like. Scissors. the plastic apart. Alright, so gonna, here's the back pack, the brand new uh, cabin, cabin Zero Advanced Pro. Right. So it comes right in an additional plastic. Okay, with the label on. So that's the uh, tag, right, with all the information. Um, okay, looks very sturdy back. Right, um, just to be a, give a bit of context as to why I'm getting this backpack. So uh, primary, pri primarily, I am using, just to give a bit of, uh, just to give a bit of context of why I'm getting this backpack for right, um, I need this backpack because uh, mainly to carry my videography uh, uh, equipment all right, um, my camera which I'm recording on right now I have a GoPro, I have a 360 cam and then all the tripods, monopods, batteries etc etc so um, I just came back from a, from a two weeks trip to Europe and um, I carry along my um, Sony mirrorless camera as well as my GoPro uh, on a messenger bag that I have um, because uh, the idea I thought was you know I'll get easy access taking my gears out from the messenger bag right but um, because I have to walk quite a lot during the entire 14 days of the trip in Europe so towards the end of the day every day you know you start to feel the strain on my shoulder because it's like lopsided so that's where after I came back I decided that um, perhaps I should really get a proper backpack to carry my gears on my travel the next time round so I started looking around for a uh, backpack started off with looking at backpacks that are purpose made to carry camera gear so I considered brands like Low Pro, Ting Tang um, and then uh, because of security reasons also that I also look at brands like PackSafe um, well for the for the requirements that I had um, either the bags were probably a bit pricey or the bags uh, were a bit too heavy right and also after giving it a bit of thought I do not really want to carry a bag that screams out loud that I am a camera bag I just want a regular backpack um, that can give me some basic security features and give me in more than enough room to carry my gears so I did a bit of uh, a research online that's where I came across this brand called Cabin Zero which I have seen um, quite a number of people carrying it uh, when I'm on my travels as well 
So the reason why I'm doing this video is because uh, for this particular model that I bought, the Advance Pro, uh, there isn't any reviews out there, or at least to my knowledge, I can't find any on YouTube or, or even on Reddit. So uh, there's only one video that I saw that was on this exact same model, but that was for 44 liters model. Uh, what I got was a slightly smaller one, this is a 32 liters because um, I am also thinking of this doubling up as a everyday pack. So, so you know, if I go to office, um, if I just need to carry some basic stuff and my laptop, um, this bag, the size is just right, not too big for me. All right, that, so that was a concern why I uh, took the plunge and buy this 32 liters. Uh, unfortunately, there, there isn't any reviews that I can see out there. So hopefully this video by showing you, you know, exactly how this bag looks like, uh, it will give you a good idea whether this is something right for you. So, um, all right, this bag um, comes in four colors from what I can remember. So there's black, uh, there's dark blue, and then there's this Sahara, okay, what you call that? Sahara sand color. Okay, I thought it would be a bit more yellow than what it is. Uh, uh, now that I'm seeing it, you know, for the real thing, it's a bit more towards the orangey side. And then there's this dark green color, which I didn't quite like. So, um, so I went with this color because I thought black and blue, um, a bit too boring. All right. Um, I've also considered looking at the uh, military and also the classic model. Um, but what I like about this newer model is uh, I thought would be useful is because the front pocket is where the laptop sleeve is. Alright, so you can see here, uh, once you open this up, okay, the Velcro, and then that's where you put in your laptop. Alright, and you can actually uh, fit a 15 inch laptop. I, I am currently using a 15 inch uh, Lenovo Legion laptop, so I need a bag that can fit a 15 inch laptop. Some of the ones that I saw could be what I want, but unfortunately when I figure out the size of the laptop that I can carry, they can only carry about 13 inch on average. So uh, this is just nice. This one can fit a 15 inch laptop. So that's why, you know, it's uh, something for me. And it in this particular model, um, Cabin Zero is meant, is, is known for like um, having like not much pockets, then you have to self-organize all stuff. So in this model, they do have a bit more compartment. So once you open up this front pocket, there's this uh, see-through mesh with a zip, so I guess I can put my um, wires, batteries, right? Um, there's an extra compartment here. It goes quite deep in, so if you are bringing along your tablet, you can put this in, or maybe you can put in some um, notes or papers or files, right? So that's the main compartment. Um, uh, sorry, that's the first compartment. Then um, it does come with the compression strap, so it you can um, you know if your bag is not full, then like it is, you can actually pack it down so that it looks more streamlined. Okay, let me just open this up. Um, okay, where's the seat? Oops, it's here. All right. <laughs> Okay, um, Okay. so this is the main compartment, let me just open this up, alright, so it's very very spacious, uh, almost open up fully like a uh, front load uh, opening, um, from the videos that I saw for the military and classic, it, I understand that it can open up way further for this, there's this bit of portion here, there's this portion here that doesn't the zip doesn't go through all the way, all right. So it's a it's a it's a hybrid between a top load and a front load. So what you will need is you will need organizer boxes or packing boxes to put your stuff. So I'm actually getting uh, those uh, ten bar toolbox to put my gears and then some packing cubes to put my clothes. Then I'll be good to travel for maybe three days tonight just on this carry on backpack alone, right? And they have this. Uh, uh, there's this spongy cord that helps you to strap in your your clothes behind and then you can put your stuff here in front Okay, so 
Let me show you the bungee cord. Okay, so you can just open up. It's all plastic. And uh, okay, it's kind of like elastic. And um, yep, in the main compartment, over here on this side of the strap, there's another two uh, see-through mesh uh, pockets. So you can actually put in stuff for for easy access here. And uh, there's this uh, hook, the key ring, key chain. All right. And um, there is also this third compartment, which is right at the top of the bag. Here. All right. So you can open up. It's not very, very big. It's just a small space. So you can put like, mm, I don't know, maybe your sunglasses or some things that you need to have quick access to All right okay i mentioned a bit about the uh, safety features that i was looking at so um so you know when when we carry our gears overseas um, um depending on where where i go there's this option for us to lock up the bag All right so you can see here uh the, the zips are pretty big and solid so quite easy to to zip all right okay this um i read online they call this the ykk zip so so you can see there's this this two where the two zips come together there's this hole so uh if you want to you can actually put a uh small number locker to lock this up so this is the, for the laptop compartment and this is for the this is for the main compartment so there's two um the top small pocket there's only one zip here so it doesn't allow for you to lock it up so so if it's uh, sensitive stuff or important stuff then it will be best you keep it in the main compartment or the front compartment then um, if you choose to or if you're going to some cd areas then uh i suppose you know i bought this for this feature because you can lock it uh, considered some other brands that have pretty cool design also but um, uh, they do not have this extra security feature so I thought it um, it may not be necessary but uh, it's a good thing to have right okay so um, let's see what else okay there's also this D ring uh, which I haven't figured out a way uh, uh, use for it yet. Right, they, they also do have this uh, special. I read online this Okoban. You know, every every bag comes with a special tag that if you register online, then um, the idea is if you lose your bag, then uh, uh, if someone picks it up, then they will be able to trace it back to you. Uh, I'm not sure how useful this thing is because if I'm a thief, then once I get a bag, I'll probably just know uh, bring it away as far as I can but let's say if some uh, kind soul find your bag then if you register this hopefully they know how to activate this and look for you all right um all right and you can carry it this way side way also there's a handle here okay and on one side of it um, there is a small pocket you can see here uh, for your water bottle it is not very deep i think you can see my hands here all right i don't have very big hands so uh, a bit kind of shallow well the idea i wanted the side pocket not so much for the water bottle but i hopefully uh, if i need to this can hold my tripod right uh, in the future when i bring along a tripod on my trips okay so you can open up uh, there's a button here okay okay oh you can actually button unbutton i'm not too sure what is the purpose All right oh and this bag is supposed to be water resistant but uh, i'm gonna try it out later on to see if it's really water resistant right, so that's how it looks like i quite like the color i am uh, orange is a personal favorite of mine all right they call this sahara sand but it looks pretty much like orange to me Okay, so this is the entire bag. Oh, there's a handle at the top as well and the side. 
the difference, one of the main difference between the 32 liters and the uh, larger version is it doesn't have a waist belt strap. It's just these two shoulder strap. Alright, uh, but it does come with the uh, chest strap, right? A small one. Uh, okay, so at the back, this is how it looks like. There's this is uh, protruding portion, I think it's just to cool your back. Uh, if you need to walk and you sweat a lot and then on the other side this is how it looks like porous um, with a bit of cushioning right and uh, some elastic straps here they call this a tension strap mm. so I guess it you know can help you to adjust the top as well so there's another D-ring here as well okay so yep, that's it. Um, that's how exactly how it looks like. All right now to the last point, which is something that I, uh, I kind of like took the plunge to buy this bag because I couldn't really find any information on this online. Was uh, how would a thirty-two liter cabin zero advanced pro um, look or feel on me? All right, uh, I'm an average Asian height of uh, about one six five uh, centimeters. So 1.65 meters tall so i wasn't too sure if uh the 44 liters bag would be will be uh okay so so that's why i got this 32 so i'm going to try and see how it looks like on me so that um if you are of a similar height as myself then you can judge for yourself see whether you know the size of this bag is correct for you i'm just going to wear it Okay, so okay, probably can let me just adjust this up. Okay, can probably can um, adjust the strap a bit later on, right? Uh, until we have the uh, opportunity to put it on full load, I also will not be able to tell you how comfortable this is. But for now, you know this bag is empty. Then it can go all the way to the back. So that's how it looks. All right, I think I uh, uh, feel okay so far. All right, and um, this is the first part of the the video that I want to do for you guys. I am actually going on a uh, work trip to Bangkok next week, and that is uh, where I have to bring along all my gears. Um, I'll be bringing along my gimbal, my cameras, and uh, everything that I need uh, because it's a uh, it's a four days work trip where I need to go and film some stuff for my work and I will be using this bag for the first time so um, so the second part of this video will show you when I'm in Bangkok exactly how much stuff can I fit inside and I'll give you a real world review of how it feels you know carrying this bag around uh, with all the items that I want to bring along and uh, I want to show you, you know, how much can it fit and whether I can put some more stuff inside so I'll see you in the next part of the video right Hey, hi everyone. So this is Kevin here. So if you look at my background, I'm actually in my hotel room um, right here in Bangkok. Just arrived a um, couple of hours ago. Right, um, so as, uh, as I mentioned, right, uh, I actually brought along my Kevin Zero bag to, for this trip. Right? I have all my um, camera gears and video gears inside. Um, in case you're wondering, right, how come this uh, bag, the uh, the colors and how come it looks kind of like different from the earlier part, um, right? Because this is an entirely different bag that I have here, right? Let me let me just give uh, explain what happened, right? So so when I did the uh, first part of the video, um, about a week ago, uh, last Thursday, when I received that Advanced Pro Cabin Zero, um. I tried to fit my um, 15 inch uh, uh, Lenovo laptop inside the uh, padded sleeve that they had in front uh, but unfortunately it wasn't able to fit right um, uh, it does seems that uh, if you own a 15 inch uh, MacBook or maybe a Lenovo Yoga those that are of like um, maybe a slimmer slimmer build 
then you might just be able to fit. But that sleeve, um, I think it will be more comfortable if you have a 14 inch or 13 inch laptop, then it will fit quite comfortably. Uh, if you have a 15 inch laptop, then you might really want to check on the dimensions of your of your laptop before you decide whether you can uh, fit that into the Advanced Pro. So that was the issue that I had. So I was I was quite disappointed. Then immediately I actually kind of uh, uh, sent an email to to the Cabin Zero support. I mean, uh, shout out to Mike if you are watching this video right now. Um, he replied quite fast, right? Uh, within like almost within a day. Uh, the next morning I saw his email. Then he was saying that uh, can I maybe can I take a photo to show him uh, why is it that it cannot fit? So which I did. Uh, and I also followed up with an email saying that you know uh, I'm actually looking to use this bag. Uh, for his trip today, so that was like uh, I remember I replied the email like on Friday. Uh, I was telling him that you know I, I actually need it by 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 Thursday, which is today, right? So so we have like almost like uh, uh six days. So uh, I was asking him you know whether um can I actually change to another version that would be able to fit my fifteen inch laptop, and uh, what happens was very quickly he actually. Um, make arrangement for this replacement to be sent to my house. So it actually came last night, which was just in time for me to pack all my stuff and then for me to bring it over to Bangkok um, uh, this morning, this afternoon. So so I would, you know, uh, this this definitely like a five-star review for Cabin Zero follow-up and customer service and in terms of their support. So, uh, yep, thumbs up to them. Right, and this laptop, uh, this bag, you know, uh, uh, I've carried it from Singapore to here, uh, pretty heavy stuff inside. Um, uh, it was quite comfortable, right? Um, and, uh, and the beautiful thing is because of the more boxy size of this, uh, this, by the way, this is a classic, classic pro, okay? Classic pro advanced, if I remember the name. Okay, sorry, this class, classic pro with a padded laptop sleeve, and this also a 32 liters. So because it's, it's a bit more boxy, you know, you can see that the, the surface area is larger. So the uh, the width of the laptop sleeve is also larger. So um, when I tried fitting in my uh, Lenovo uh, laptop, it is actually able to go in uh, just nice, right? So, uh, but, in the, uh, but I actually did not bring my laptop for this uh, particular trip. Uh, but I can assure you that it fits uh, very very nicely. So if you can see this where the laptop sleeve is. For now, I've just put some notes inside. Right, um, in terms of the small small compartments, then uh, this versus the Advanced Pro, this will have lesser compartment. But uh, nevertheless, I think it is sufficient for my use. You now when I started packing my stuff yesterday, then uh, I find that it's actually more than enough. So 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 just to share with you what I put for 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 this. Right, so so there's this. You can see that the uh, basically there's two two main compartment, the main compartment and the front compartment. So this front compartment, uh, there's also this mesh here, alright, uh, quite a deep pocket. This area that you can see here, I actually have all my um, all my bat batteries inside here, alright. That's 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 how I sorted it out, and then um, over here this part is actually not very um, spacious more for you know if you put an ipad or notes or something uh, but in this case i'm, I'm just slotting in all my um, tripods which uh, if you want to you can actually also put it by the side this one also does comes with a, um, a water bottle holder or you can actually put your tripod so uh, there's another zip here which uh, I did not use for now, right? Uh, actually, you can go in quite deep. You can see the my hands, right? So um, if you have a small tablet or uh, some notes, you actually can put it in this uh, front first compartment, right? Oh, um, actually, in all honesty, I do prefer the the the. Um, the Advanced Pro orange color, but uh, this is the closest that they have, so I I thought that's why uh, he sent me this color, I think, uh, which is quite nice too, uh, although I prefer the orange. Right, so um, uh, again, same, you know, on, on both sides, there's this uh, uh, compression straps. Um, maybe a difference that I, I can point out is uh, for this 32 liters uh, uh, Classic Pro, it comes with the uh, uh, waist strap. Right. Um, okay, just one second. And which, which you can actually keep it. So I actually kind of like tucked it in when I was traveling over just now. So let me just take it out. Alright, so you can see here. 
you can actually take it out. So there's this waist strap to help you. Um, and one extra thing that these have that the Advanced Pro doesn't have also this this center portion that uh, you know you can actually hook onto your luggage and then if you are uh, if it's too heavy for you to like uh, put it on your back and you just want to put it on your luggage and 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 uh, bring it around then you can actually hook this onto your luggage. Um, all these straps can be kept. There's a there's a pocket here as well, so you can you can keep all this in. Then it just become a single like a a, a check in luggage or something. All right. So looking at the main compartment, all right. So let me just. Uh, Okay, this one uh, it opens way down uh, more than the Advanced Pro, so it's uh, like uh, almost like the how a luggage will open up the entire front thing. Right, so you can okay, actually just open it up entirely like that. Okay, so um, if you look here again, there's one more inner portion mesh wire mesh. So in over here, I actually have my uh, organizer for my wires. So so that's. You know, it goes right here, and then on the inside, it's just one entire compartment. So, uh, my stuff are pretty boxy. So, it but I think if you are just using this as a normal backpack, you can really put quite a lot of stuff here. So, I have with me my um, gimbal, all right, and um, this uh, box where I have all my uh, charger, my um, portable hard disk inside here and also my uh, hand bar organizer for my um, this is a version 10 so this is where I put all my camera gears inside so once you open up you can see that it's actually very very spacious inside and and there's actually one more sp uh, small pocket here uh, here you, you can see right so you can actually put like uh, anything you want um yep so this is how it looks um while carrying it here all the way from Suvanabum airport to here uh, central bangkok uh even in singapore the strap has a uh, sufficient cushion right uh, it's actually uh, very padded and um uh, big enough surface area to uh, make me car carry this weight uh, quite comfortably so i would say that um from this first usage of this bag i am really pretty happy with my purchase and i'm also very very happy that uh they actually um uh responded and actually sent me this bag just in time so that i can use it because uh and i'm so glad that uh, i i do feel that you know if you are just looking for a, a a space to stuff a lot of stuff inside and then i i think that this classic pro would would do a better job than the advanced pro the advanced pro is probably a uh, has a bit more compartments uh, there might be people who prefer to actually compartmentalize the uh, stuff but if you are you are into packing cubes and you just want to stuff like all these cubes inside um, then you, it's actually the classic pro is actually a pretty pretty good bag size wise is about the same uh, as per the dimension so maybe just let me carry it and show it to you how it looks like on me Right, so uh, if uh, your shoulders are not too wide like mine, then you can actually strap it up for extra support. So that's how the bag looks, right? Pretty cool, huh? And uh, I think if there's nothing inside, you can actually compress it all the way down, and it will be very, very compact. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so that's all uh, for this uh, short review of this bag that I've just bought. I hope. It will uh, shed some light for those of y'all who are doing your research and uh, whether you are, you know, uh, going to buy this bag. Mm, uh, they do have a live chat online. Uh, they are pretty res responsive. So if you have any questions, uh, in fact, every product at the bottom there's a uh, there's a Q and A that you can actually post the questions and um, they actually answer pretty fast as well. I think they are quite on the ball when it comes to online marketing. So. Yep, that's all. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this bag, uh, leave a comment in, the, in, in, in this comment below. I'll try my best to answer to my best knowledge. Uh, I hope this video has been useful to you. I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.